Good morning, this is Irish Chippy, also known as Pascal. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, some uh, flower boxes for uh, potted, potted flowers from, from pine wood. Uh, I have two of them down here. I have four actually made, but I'm only showing you two. Uh, we are going to, we're going to uh, finish them in clear instead of staining them. So I'm going to show you how to make uh, four of these. Well, you can make one or four or six or whatever. I'll take you right through the process of making them. Uh, and uh, there is no nails, no screws, no fixings whatsoever, just joints and, and as, as usual, just joints and glue. So if you, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe at the end. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, two by four, uh, not exactly two by four. This is finished 37. So I want to make square. Uh, we're making uh, some boxes for the for flower boxes. Okay. Uh, so very simple. They're going to be done with dado and tenon. Okay, and uh, sheeting. Uh, the sheeting will be left loose inside it, but loose, loose-ish, we will put some silicone, but it will not be glued in. The, the legs at uh, 300 and 380 or 390. This is the section we will have for legs. See here. Okay. Might sound like it's strong enough there. It looks maybe on camera it's not strong there, but believe me, that's strong. And it's all going to be glued surface anyway. This is going to be the outside. And this is going to be the outside. The panel is going there and the panel is going there. Short piece of this sheeting cut. But anyway, they slide into into <laughs> that one don't slide in, I thought yeah. But they slide into this, right? And uh, they will be not glued because uh, the panels uh, need to be left to expand and contract. So you don't, normally when you put infill, sh sheeting infill, you don't, uh, you don't glue it. The first thing I'm going to cut uh, will be the legs and they're going to be 390. Next thing I'm going to do is make the top and the bottom of the front and the back. So that's four, uh, four long ones and four short ones for each uh, each of the box. So that's four, four, so sixteen long ones and sixteen short ones. The length is going to be six thirty, and that's including the the little tenon that goes into the dial.
Now I'm going to cut shoulders like this off then there, I set up a, a backstop there for the depth on one side and then we'll do the one on, on, sorry, on this side and now that's it there and then we'll do the same on this side, the blade, we'll let the blade down for this side. Okay, I had to leave that project for a while. Uh, and then I have two other jobs on the weekend, so I was unable to, uh, I was unable to finish it, so I'm going back to finish it now, a few days later. Now, as I was saying to you in the last day, you have to balance the boards. So you can't have a full one there and a quarter of one down here, right? So what you'll do is you'll get the ends of your tenons, and you put the end of your tenon on the end here, and then you will get your length, how much you want it, and then you divide that. You divide that by, you get the length and then you get the half, okay? say a word of warning. It's not a word of warning. You don't put glue on the sheeting, right? You allow the sheeting to expand and contract, okay? It's not a problem if it gets on the first sheet or something like that, but you don't put, you don't put it on the sheeting because the sheeting needs to be, uh, needs to be free, moving, expansion, contraction, uh, if they were all glued together, they would crack, for sure. And you would not have a good joint. Yeah, you'd have a good, just like with a door. Now you could, if you wanted to, st to stop it rattling, you could put silicone in it, where, where it can, gives it a lot of movement. But uh, for the purpose of this one, I'm not going to even do that. So I'm going to put the first one in, and we're going to say that this is the top. This can be the bottom if we like, because we've all good cuts. But I'm going to say this is the top for the purpose of of this video. We start putting our sheeting in then. Uh, this one looks tight. Mm. Now I just gave them a little tiny bit of a sanding on the back of them and uh, now I'm going to use the, the second one. Uh, I'm going to clamp out the clamp it in because it's, it's going to be very tight. But they're all in nicely now. There's a half a millimeter gap down here on this one, and that's acceptable, fine. Uh, I'm going to put the glue on this. I can put it on here if I like. I'll put it on here because this is so tight at the moment. I'll put it on both surfaces. So, let me put the glue in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make up all 16 of, uh, sorry, all 8 of these, that's the longitudinal ones, and then we'll get back to, well, we're going to put this on for you first. And this is not the ideal piece to, to use for, to demonstrate for the simple reason, the big knot in it. And it's not going to work if I put it in upside down. <laughs> Use a clamp, uh, a clamp, want to? Yeah, pull it straight in. Actually, we, we to keep it balanced. You, you really want to put it in with a clamp. You want to go by them all going to be the same. This gap here going to be the same. Uh, you really want to pull them in with a clamp on each end. This is not, this clamp doesn't put on a huge amount of pressure. But it pulls them in nicely. And then we, we'll get our, our pipe clamp and we'll tighten up this. Okay, uh, so we just put them in. They're fairly tight. Uh, 
and I've sounded at the point with a tiny little bit of the top ones. So I've cut the extra piece there. Uh, it could have been a bit better balanced. I've got a little bit of a little bit wrong. And then I'm going to put in this piece. And then we'll clamp it all up again. I'll, I'll stand it up and clamp it. Uh, and that's basically one of our boxes. That's one of the boxes made. There is a bit of work in them, but they, I don't know, they, they look much nicer than if you throw something together. I always think it's nice to... Mm. Now we have all four of them done. I'm not so sure whether we're, I'm going to put, I was going to put a hardwood mitre thing on the top of them to protect the end grain and also for aesthetics we have the other two here, look. So they're under pressure. They are very, very nice uh, piece of wood. The wood was actually expensive uh, by, at least, uh, by Philippine standards anyway, so uh, we are not going to stain this wood, right? And the wood is already pre-treated. Okay, so now we're, we're putting some sand and seal on, on, on a few of these and then we will put more lacquer on them. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, if you did find it helpful, uh, please uh, subscribe. And, and if you click the bell, you'll see all our, all our videos. We don't put up very many. I put one up every two or three weeks. And thank you again for watching.